In just a moment, we're chatting to Dido, but first, she's back with, a new, with new music, taken from her new album. This is Give You Up. I found a way to let you go So you don't have to stay now I broke my I came close But you can't rip my heart out I'm giving up I'm giving up Uh, that single's taken uh, from your new album, Still On My Mind. Is this it here? There you go. Um, I just said to you before the show, you're, you're doing quite a lot of PR at the moment. Are you enjoying the PR circuit? Enjoying I am actually this time around. Yeah, I'm just sort of having a good time, really. <laughs> it's just quite fun at this point. It's been like 25 years. Does it feel more fun this time? Does it feel it does. that, you know, you, you almost haven't got the pressure to do There's anything? There's sort of with no pressure. Yeah. And, and you sort of think, well, why would you even do it if it wasn't fun at this point you know like I'm just I'm just really enjoying myself and I think yeah just it's all I'm really looking forward to the tour I'm just really enjoying playing music just not in only in my room <laughs> <laughs> um we were discussing before the show your timeline we're very confused with you and Eminem and the albums and stuff what what actually was the timeline between so, everything starting in your career so my album uh, my first album came out in sort of 99 and I was touring around America it actually came out in America I'd signed a deal in America basically and was touring in America and about a year into that it all uh, what happened was there thank you was um, on a film called sliding doors and a DJ called the 45 King heard the trailer for Sliding Doors while he was doing his taxes, he was watching the TV, heard it, sampled it, sent it to Eminem in that backing track and then Eminem wrote Stan. But the film came out before the album? I think it did, yeah. I mean, my memory's a little hazy, but I remember that being the first thing, because I remember hearing about Sliding Doors and it was definitely a point where I was like, I couldn't believe my music was in a film and I took all my friends to see the film and it was like, I, I couldn't quite believe it would actually happen. But that you know? seems quite amazing in its own right. You know, as a, as a new artist as you were then, to have something in, in was a, yeah. a big budget film. It. I know. I think I had a cassette basically with these songs on, and it just got passed around people. It was, you know, it just fell into the right hands. So the first time you heard Stan, were you, was your voice was on it, or they, had they asked you first? I'd heard um, a friend of mine had said to me, I was in Jimmy Ivins' office, and I really feel like I heard an Eminem song with you singing on it. And I was like, I don't think you did. Like, I would know about it. <laughs> <laughs> no. and, and actually, it was months later that then I got a letter and, and, a, and a tape just saying, um, this is Dan, and can I use and then, it? And, and then you went on tour with him. Yes, I did a few shows on the Anger Management Tour, yeah. I sort of went straight from Lilith Fair, which is this, like, all-female tour, onto the Anger Management Tour, which was uh, just uh, actually really fun. <laughs> oh, oh uh, so who, who else was on that tour? So it was uh, Limp Biscuit, Papa Roach, D12, Exhibit. Oh, amazing. Yeah, yeah. no, I mean, they So you were treat... right, you so fitted right in me. there, then? Yeah. <laughs> so did you just come on for the one song? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, and then just hung out, and everyone treated me really well. So what did it... What did it... What did you think when you first heard it then, you, the, the, when it got, came through to you, Stan? What did you think? Well, I was blown away. I didn't really know what to expect because I read the letter first and it was like, I've used your song and it was Eminem. And I thought, oh, I, you know, I don't know how this is, what, what's it going to be like, you know? And, um, and I put it on and was completely blown away. Okay. I just thought his lyrics were brilliant. Let's have a listen. Here you go. Anyways, I hope you get this, man. Hit me back. Just a chat. Truly yours. Your biggest fan. This is Stan. Still great, that isn't it? It's the most comfortable I've ever been in a video outfit because <laughs> I had the stomach on, and um, a, a lot of people thought I was pregnant. Just people on the set, so they kept like bringing me things, <laughs> <laughs> like offering me chairs and stuff, and um, and also I could I just ate the whole way through because it was like it, it needed to get a bit bigger, so it was good. So that must have just catapulted you. Boom, that was it. Well, number one in like a hundred different countries or something, wasn't it? Just went just just. 12 different countries, I'm being told. I exaggerated a bit <laughs> with 100. It's close. <laughs> um, tell us about the new album. 
Um, it's, uh, it's, it's made with my brother. Um, it's called Still On My Mind. We had a real good time doing it. We sort of mainly did it at home. And just, um, it just, yeah, it's been a really fun, fun project. It's five years since, since your last music that, that you released. So do you just get an itch? You know, when you sort of say, right, okay, because clearly you're kind of releasing things now because this is what you want to do. It's like, I just need to do something again. Or are you continually working? I'm always writing and I'm always sort of singing and I'm always doing things, but um, uh, whether it builds up into an album or not is a, is a whole different thing. But this one, a couple of years ago, I was like, you know what, I really want to make another record. What's it like working with your brother? I love yeah. it. It's great. I mean, it's not for everyone, I'm sure. <laughs> and, and, um, but he's just awesome. He's Rollo from Faith, yes. for, any, for anyone who doesn't know. And you just click immediately. Yeah, we just, really just and we work brilliantly through. together. We both do very different things and yeah. we've both got very different brains, but essentially we're sort of seeing and hearing the same thing, if that makes sense. And our sort of values are all the same. So yeah. it, just, it works. It's very easy. And will you be touring? I will. Where yeah. are you going? Uh, everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Are you looking forward to that as well? I am actually, yeah. and more than ever that. Um, just because I think, you know, I think even as a songwriter, but as an artist, you, you start really missing that engagement just with people who listen to your music and, mm. and just the thrill of playing it. Um, and, and does it mean you can travel the world because you were number one in 12 countries? <laughs> <laughs> Does it, does it mean you can travel? travel? <laughs> Are you going on a world tour? Is yes. it world? Yeah. Yes. So yes. Or everywhere? America? It's slowly getting, seems to be getting longer and longer. But the response yeah. has been great, hasn't it? You know, I've read lots of kind of reviews of the album, the fact that you're kind of back in the public eye. And there's a lot of love out there for you. You know, you come back and everyone's, everyone's really excited that you're back. It's really nice. I mean, I have to say, I've been really blown away this last few weeks. It's quite emotional, you know. It's sort of, because I was just, you know, I made this album. I didn't have a record deal. I just thought, well, I'll make a record. And if anyone's interested, that's cool. And it's, it's, it's been really overwhelming, yeah. Mm. And I love the fact you've got vinyl. Everyone's, everyone who comes on the show now has vinyl. Yeah. Have you got a record player yet, no. Simon? No, I still haven't got a record player, no. No. That means we can't take that one home. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dido. Uh, your, your album, um, Still On My Mind, is out now, and you're going to be performing at the end of the show. I am. 